This is the fourth hole at Sagebrush Golf Club, a beautiful par three downhill playing towards the water. Jason Logan with you here as we continue the countdown of the 2024 Score Golf Top 100 Courses in Canada presented by Michelob Ultra. We've already shown you numbers 100 to 91. Now it's time to get to numbers 90 to 81. Point Grey is a solid David Aiden Jr. design enhanced in recent years by Riley Johns, who constructed three new holes of fine fescue grass. The bunkering here is awesome throughout, and if the club pursues a master plan put forth by Johns, it would surely rise in these rankings. Designed by Ron Garl, Taboo was refreshed by Alan Chud and the club's turf team. A strong resort course in Ontario cottage country, new white sand bunkers have beautified the layout, though the granite rock outcropping that defined Muskoka Golf still takes center stage. A Stanley Thompson design tweaked by different architects over the years, Royal Mayfair sits high above the North Saskatchewan River and features holes meandering through tall evergreens. Restoring the course back to Thompson's vision would elevate Royal Mayfair further. Thomas McBroom's Deer Ridge in Kitchener, Ontario abuts the Grand River and is full of strong strategic holes that prelude one of the toughest finishing stretches anywhere. The downhill, water-fronted and flanked par 3 16th is particularly strong. The old course at Wolf Creek was Rod Whitman's first solo design and the hometown architect delivered with native fescue areas, nasty pop bunkers and spacious undulating greens. The resort has seen better times but Whitman's courses there are no less intriguing. Dundas Valley's trademark is most definitely its difficult yet ingenious greens, which are heavily influenced by the Niagara Escarpment the Stanley Thompson design fits into nicely. The home course of Mackenzie Hughes, the property features a lot of movement from tea to green. Cobble Beach is a stunning lynx-like course on the shores of Georgian Bay. Though the highlights are those holes running towards the water, such as the Cascading 7th and Lighthouse Hole 17th, Carrick's inland work is good too. Severe collection areas around greens make missing targets a problem. All eyes will be on the blue course at Royal Montreal come September's President's Cup, but the club's red course is equally worthy of praise. The course remains largely as Dick Wilson laid it out, with small greens and dog-legged holes making positioning paramount. Subtler than its mountain course counterpart, but still dramatic thanks to its rocky and wooded terrain, the valley course at Bear Mountain is a lovely track. While roomy off the tee, the Jack and Steve Nicholas design course is defended by tiered greens and waste bunkering. Southwest of Edmonton, Windermere is an excellent test on the banks of the North Saskatchewan River. The river comes into play on the back nine, while inland water hazards also protect par. The Peninsula Green Par 3 12th is one of the layout's more daunting holes. It's not often you would putt from 50, 60 yards off the green, unless you're a little nervous with a sandwich in your hands, but that's part of the beauty here at Sagebrush, the Rod Whitman, Richard Zokel, Armin Sumi design. It's not just about what you do in the air, it's what you do along the ground. You can use the contours to your advantage. It's a really neat architectural design. So we've shown you 20 courses on the 2024 Score Golf Top 100 Course in Canada presented by Michelob Balter. That means we've got 80 more to go. So stay tuned for our next video coming shortly when we unveil courses 80 to 71.